Okay. So, this is the Green Belt Ken Ken. Puzzles which are 5x5, five 6x6, five, six six and 8x8, eight eight. and though so far I'm not bothering with the 8x8s eight and um, the 5x5s, five five I'll go back to the 6x6s. Six six. So generally start out quite easy um, and then get progressively harder with the odd weird one thrown in. I sort of started at the back and did some of the early ones as well. So this is about medium difficulty. Hopefully this can be seen. Uh, I'm just picking the next one along and hoping I can solve it. Um, let's make it a bit square. Um, a bit of a bit. So when you're doing one of these you're always looking for any kind of giveaways, any ones which you can immediately give you can obviously stick the four in. And we're looking for um large ones obvious multiples and things. So um so straight away the four times can only be could be two two one or a four one one. Um this is a bit of a giveaway here. Since the row adds up to twenty one, um that's gonna be a two. And that's gonna therefore be a two times three. We don't know where the, where that's going to be, so I just pencil that in as three one, uh, meaning it can be either way around this stage. Uh, that immediately reduces this, so that can't be three six. It can't be one two, because those numbers are here. So that's two four. Again, pencil it in, meaning it can be either way around. And that means we straight away have got a 5 and 6 here. 5 can never be in a 2 divide within the 6 by 6. So the 5 must be here and the 6 must be here. So this is not looking too bad so far. Which gives us um, 11 left over here. Uh, 16 pluses are always a a good one to find in a th with only three because there's only two possibilities. You can only be uh, five, five, six. Uh, what I think is what's six is it six four four or something? Yeah, or something like that. Uh, anyway, we've got to cut a five there, so that's got to add up to eleven. So that's got to be 6-5. So this is a lot clearing already. Um, one of the things that makes this a harder one, this stage in the book, is that there are a lot of these annoying plus boxes. Uh, with plus boxes, you never really... They're always going to end up left to the last because you can never see what they're going to be. It could be anything. Uh, we can fill that in 6 over 2, 3, and we've got 1, 2, 4 along here now, for what it's worth. Um. <coughs> uh, so, is there anything else we can see here? Uh, obviously, having done these ones here, we want to kind of fill up anything along the same road, along the same lines. Um, <coughs> uh, one thing we can see here on, on this column is there's a four times, which is only going to be a, f a four, one, or a two. Uh, the fifteen plus can be anything on earth. 
and the 4EA8 is going to be something like a 3 or a 2 or a 6. So the 5 can only go here. You always look out for 5s. When we start to get a few 5s, we can kind of start to think where the 5 can go out of the remaining squares. We're not quite there yet for the 5s. That reduces this to 10, but we already know that there's 3, 4, 3, 1, 3 and 6 here because that's all that's left. Um, 48 is 6 times 8. Um, that could be 3, 4, 4 if it wasn't for the fact it's on a longer line. So we can't have two fours. So it's got to have a 6 in it. Sorry, let me move that um, up a bit. That's 48. Um, it's got to have a 6 in it. So it's got to be 6, 4, 2. Because so 6 is as high as we can go. We've got two 6s there. So that's got to be there. Because it can't be in either of those. We can't tell much else about that. There's a pencil in the 4, 2. Um, no, we've got 1, 3 and 5 here. I'm just going to write them underneath. But we don't know where. Um, we've got this rather unfriendly stuff at the top here. Let me kind of think what this can be. Uh, that can be pretty much anything here, or different orders. Three, five, or four, six. Um, that's going to be um, one, two, two, or one, one, four. And what we're kind of thinking about now is this top lump here of two rows. It's got to add up to 42, because that's two lots of 21. Any column or row adds up to 21. But we can eliminate, without worrying about what they are, by these 11 plus and 19 plus. Just ignore them and take them away from what's in the 42. So that's a nice, convenient 30, 11 plus 19, which leaves 12. Um, so we can kind of think, what can we get 12 out of with what we've got here? So that's 6 and that's 5. 1122 is 5, 114 is 6. Um, we're to get that out of 12 with whatever these add up to. So we can see straight away we can't be 4 and 6, because that would be... It's, 10 plus 5 minimum would be 15, that would be too much. 3 plus 5 is 8. Sorry if you can't see that very clearly. The 2, 1 can be 3, 5. 3 and 5 is 8. 8 and 5 is 13. 8 and 6 is 14. So it can't be 3 and 5. 2 and 4 is 6. Uh, 6 and 6 is 12. So if that's 2 and 4, then that's the 1, 1, 4. And we've got 1 and 3 is 4, and 4 and 6 is 10, which is too low. So that's got to be 2, 4. We don't know which way around. That gives 6. 6 from 12 at 6, so that's got to be 1, 1, 4. So, and 1, 1, 4 can only go in that way around, because the ones can't collide. That means we now know at the bottom here that 48 that must be a 2, 4 because we've got the 4 already <coughs> furthermore um, uh, here we, we don't know which way around that 2 and 4 are um, but we've got a 3 to go in this column so let's scribble a 3 in there in fact, we've already got a 4 in that column, so that that is actually right here, 2 and 4. 
So now we've got one and six to go in here. Uh, we've got the six in there, so that must be one there and the six there. Sorry, it's a bit scrolly, isn't it? Let's make that a bit more bold. Uh, furthermore, the two four we got here must be that way round. It could have been the other way, but we've got the four there. And then we've got three left up the top here. This is turning out to be quite easy compared with the last one I did, which was a nightmare. That was the last one. But, so, we've got now um, 11 plus, and we've got 8 to go in here. 8 plus 3 is 11, so what can that, that can be, can't be 2, 6 because you've got a 6 there already. Uh, there can't be 4-4 four, four, obviously, besides there's a 4 there, even if it, it could. So there's got to be 3-5, and the 3 there already, so it's got to be that way around. Which leaves us with 1-2 down here. We've got a 2 already there, so that must be 1-2. Let's get 3, and we've got 7 to get out of that, so that has to be a 4. So that adds up to 7. We've got a 3-5, we still don't know down here. Uh, but actually that tells us that if that's a 3 and a 5, then that's 8. That's got to add up to 9, so that must be a 1. And we need that anyway from elimination along that row. But I should have put that in before. And then the 3 and a 1. And then a 3 is there, so the 5 is there. It all falls into place once you've got that far. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five is here. So must be six there, because we've already got the five down there. And then we've got one. We've got two and a six to go in there. So that must be the two, and that must be the six. And that's all done. Sorry. Let's hard to see. Not a very good camera. The key thing with this one, and it wasn't a very hard one, but the the 411 the 411 here and uh, the 16 plus here are the big clues. Um, and the 11, and adding, having these blocks here adding up to the majority of these two rows to 30 left by elimination what these could be and I think that's often the case you can find a block of two or uh, or single row um, one of the one I done here had was seemed to be impossible but it had um, three had to do three columns to add up to 63 and there were a number of plus areas um, so sometimes sometimes that is the way to do these by finding uh, big blocks of two or three and just leaves whatever is left out of the plus boxes maybe can be eliminated so that's that one, and that's the Green Belt Ken Ken book, which is recommended really because it's then they're not impossibly hard, but they're quite a challenge. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.